Welcome everybody to PGL's Garage and on today's episode we're pulling the subframe and we're going to be upgrading to CSH solid uh, bushings for the Outlander. Yeah, because this Friday we're actually taking it out and off-roading it for three days. Hopefully all three days and not just one day. <laughs> yeah, it'll make it there. So we pulled the subframe. You need a DIY for that. Just look it up on my channel. Just a Mark IV subframe. We pulled it out and now we're going to show you guys really quick on how to actually press the bushings out. So quick way or a quick trick, make sure you have an old bearing, hollow it out, very very simple, uh, a 30 millimeter socket and you want to grab the subframe? Did you throw the bushings away? Yeah, I just it's right here. Just grab one, yeah. So. Put the bearing there, pretty much. Uh, you'll see the, the bushing, hold on, before you put it in there, is smaller than the bearing. So this gives us this, the gap that we need to push it in. So put that in there. You'll see right there. Um, with the socket. Like this. Push it out and then just wiggle it until it pops right out. It took us legitimately like three seconds to do it. Super, super easy to remove the uh, subframe bushing. Uh, again, oh, Alonzo. Oh my goodness. Can't see. It's your garage, not mine. So, <laughs> once the bushing is all removed, now we're going to swap them out for solid bushings from CSH. So, here are the billet, pretty much CSH solid bushings that are going to give us a really, really nice ride in our Jedi Outlander. Um, so, that was a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the opposite of a nice ride, but they're really good because for off-road use, this is going to be amazing. Um, no body roll whatsoever <laughs> uh, in comparison to the rubber bushing that we're going from. So let's show you guys how to install this. So you guys can see here, we got a socket on top and a socket down below. And pretty much all we gotta do is pump it up until they're nice. Oh man, these things are going off pretty snug. There you go. Nice and snug down below. Nice and snug on top. Check it out. And inspect so nice and flush all the way around it's a magnifique <sighs> next side there you guys go CSH uh, pretty much billet bushings right there on both sides super super easy this beautiful Ian there's Michelle Oh, now she's okay with it because it's out of nowhere. Um, that's pretty much it. And then uh, reverse install your subframe into the car. Uh, again, follow DIY on my channel on how to install your sub, remove and install your subframe. Follow your manufactured torque specifications. Pretty straightforward, you guys. All right. Thank you for tuning in and watching this awesome episode of Pinchel's Garage. How to install pretty much CSH bushings. Very, very simple. And huge upgrade for the Outlander because it's going to make it so much stiffer. All right, guys. Peace out and have a wonderful day.